okay you're stuck how are you gonna get out I'm gonna show you a simple way of how to get out of a predicament like this we're going to assume that uh, the uh, four-wheeler doesn't start anymore uh, but you can get it in neutral and we're gonna haul this four-wheeler out of this creek and we're gonna do it with minimal gear um, what I'm about to show you is called a Spanish Burton and what's nice about it is you can achieve a four to one mechanical advantage using two single pulleys, four carabiners, two anchor straps, and obviously a rope, possibly two ropes. Okay, but I've also incorporated some prusik loops um in addition to that so but anyway the point is it's uh it's minimal gear if it's really compactly if you're limited on space and it'll get you out of moderately placed predicaments okay now i'm guessing this four wheeler weighs about 700 pounds i don't know and the hill's not that big we're coming up but i want to show you the principle behind it uh, to achieve the four to one. Now, I don't know how the Spanish Burton came to be named. I've tried to research it. The earliest I can find is like 1800s. Uh, they named this system that way. I don't know, but I'm going to, but regardless, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. Um, if you're uh, sharp eyed, you can see I have a winch on the front of this four wheeler. Um, so I'm going to show you the winchless way first using the the spanish burden then i'm going to show you how to do it with a winch which obviously is going to be a whole lot easier okay so let's just trace what we've done here if you look here i've got a green sling that captures the front frame of the four-wheeler it goes to a carabiner and i've got a figure eight on a bite uh, at the end of the rope. So let's follow this blue rope and ignore the, everything attached to it just yet. But uh, the first thing you're going to do is find an anchor, which is going to be this tree here. And you're going to attach a single pulley. This is your first single pulley. Um, and this is what's important right here. This is a Prusik loop, a triple wrapped Prusik loop. If you don't know how to tie it, I've got all kinds of videos on how to tie this, but uh, this is your progress capture, okay? That's just a fancy terminology for, as I pull this blue rope, um, this is going to make sure that it doesn't slip back the other way, okay? So, so that's basically it for the main rope. You're going to attach it to your four-wheeler or your lawnmower or whatever you're trying to lift. Uh, and then um, you're going to make sure you put a progress capture on that, okay? Now, the second part involves on the tail end of this rope attaching another triple wrapped brusik. And from there, you're going to attach another pulley. This is where your second single pulley comes into play. And if we'll follow this green rope, it is attached, you may have seen it already, to the third Prusik loop. Okay, so, so basically this green rope, put a little tension on it here, this green rope is basically pulling the tail end of the blue rope. Okay, so it goes from there. All the way up to the pulley to the tail end of the rope okay so and that's it that's the whole system is a four to one system now before you start pulling make sure that you're uh, you're in neutral you don't have any brakes on and uh, basically we are going to start pulling and that load progress will capture it okay all right i'm going to change so i can use both my hands i'm going to 
I'm gonna change this device. I'm gonna shut it off and I'll be right back. Okay, let's lift this thing. And basically you're gonna grab the tail end of the second pulley and start pulling back. Then when you let off the progress capture captures it. Okay, and then we're gonna slide this up, reset our secondary system. And you can see the four-wheelers already moved about four feet. And we just keep going. Now as you, you can see this is one into collapse right here. So what we'll do is we'll scoot this down. And we can move that up and now we're ready to go again okay okay all right we're just about over the hump we'll have to continually reset our system hopefully you see the importance of this right here we don't want that four-wheeler sliding back down okay all right so I've you see the principle behind it you know we've moved it all oh, about eight feet or so ten feet maybe but uh, slightly out of breath this, this is heavier than you think it is uh, but uh, uh, this is a simple four to one system using a minimal gear a Spanish Burton so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put the thing back in the creek and I'm gonna show you how to use a Spanish Burton with a winch okay so hang tight for that Okay, just a quick tip. Uh, notice I have two ropes here. Uh, I got a smaller green one, okay? Um, if you don't have two ropes and your main line is long enough, you can find the end of it. And just use the, your tail end of this rope for your, your secondary, okay? Well, you don't have to okay it's the uh it's the same principle okay and you got all this rope just lying here not doing anything um you don't have to have a secondary rope just use your one rope assuming it's long enough okay so just a quick tip okay here's uh, option b with a spanish burton um again this is a four to one but this time we're using the winch to help us okay so let's just trace sir sort of like we did in the first example all right i got a, a yellow sling on the frame of the of the uh four-wheeler to a blue rope blue ropes coming up to the same exact setup we had with the uh the rope version okay we have our progress capture right here and on the tail we have another rope grab but this time it's going to a pulley with the steel cable of the winch okay so let's go back to the winch so the winch is coming out of the drum it's going all the way up to that pulley off of the tail and then it is coming down to it's terminating right here at the uh, the carabiner on the sling okay so basically we have a two to one on a two to one so um, it's gonna be a four to one 
but this is going to be much, much easier with the uh, with the winch helping us out. Okay, so um, now some of you may be asking, why not just use the steel cable? Forget all the rope stuff. Um, valid point. If it's something really easy like this, you can do a two to one off of some anchor you can find. Um, but this gives you a four to one. Okay, if it was much more steeper or it was much heavier. Um, that four to one is going to really help your winch, yeah, not to overload your winch. Okay. All right. So let's uh, see what happens here. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the winch do all the work. Okay, now um, I got two. I got the winch holding the load, and I've got. If the winch were to fail, I would have this load capture, progress capture, capture it, um, so my four wheeler does not go back down the hill. Okay, so obviously this is a much easier version, um, and it saves your winch a lot of work by doing this. It's a four to one, and this is the Spanish Burton. Uh, winch version so hopefully those two examples help you and uh, I'll see you in the next one